The flu vaccine drive was successful this year, except for one crucial factor. The vaccine was targeted at certain flu strains that the World Health Organization predicted would be the main threats this winter. But that turned out to be inaccurate. Flu cases have been rising in the last couple of weeks, but the Center for Disease Control has reiterated that the free public vaccine will still protect against some strains of the flu. Every winter, flu is rampant in the lead up to Lunar New Year, but doctors have observed that it's worse than ever this year. We started to notice in late December that flu cases were steadily rising, much more than in previous years. There are two major lineages of the type B flu virus. This year, the World Health Organization predicted that the main outbreak would be the Victoria lineage, but in fact, it is the Yamagata lineage. NTU medical professor Huang Mimin has revealed that because of the WHO's error, two-thirds of flu patients he's seen have suffered from the Yamagata lineage, which was not covered by this year's flu vaccine. Some children have even gone on to contract meningitis or pneumonia because of a flu infection. Some have doubted whether the free trivalent flu vaccine is good enough protection. Some doctors suggest those who are concerned get the quadrivalent flu vaccine instead. <laughs> People's fears about the trivalent vaccine being ineffective are just fears. You never know when you're going to catch the flu, so the earlier you get your shot, the better. <laughs> it's not a placebo. Getting a vaccine shot has a real effect on immunity. After one month, if you get the second shot, your antibody count will rise very high, giving you even better protection. The CDC has stated that this year's trivalent flu vaccine provided free of charge was still 30 percent effective against this year's influenza B virus. Despite doctors' suggestions, the CDC maintains that the quadrivalent vaccine, which requires out-of-pocket payment, is not necessary.